All right, next I'd like to uh, demonstrate an example problem for sequencing a mixed model assembly line. Let's assume that we're producing three books. We've got book one, book two, and book three. And our planned production this month is 12,000 units of book one, 6,000 units of book two, 4,000 units of book three. And let's assume that we've got 10 hours per day of production. So we've got 600 minutes of production per day. And we're producing these books 20 days a month. So our daily production must be this. 12,000 divided by 20 days gives us a total of 600 book ones in a day. Likewise, 6,000 divided by 20 gives us 300 per day of book two and 200 per day of book three. In the next column, column E, we'll calculate the cycle time. So we've got 600 minutes in a day, that we've got to produce 600 units of book one. That means that every one minute, book one needs to come off the line. So a book one every minute. Likewise, on book two, we have to produce 300 in a day. So every two minutes, book two must come off the line. And we have to produce 200 units of book three. So every three minutes, a book three must come off the line. So during a six minute interval, during the six minute interval, we need to have six of book one, three of book two, and two of book three in a six minute interval. So if we look at the next sheet as an example, again, we need six book ones, three book twos and two book threes produced every six minutes. So one example of the line would be B1, B3, B1, B2, B1, B2, B1, B2, B1, B3, and B1 in that sequence. This is just one example out of, well, many possibilities. But notice that we've got six book ones in this sequence. We've got three book twos, and we've got two of the book threes. So this is a six minute interval, which would then be repeated 100 times in a day for 600 minutes in a day. Well, why would you want to do such a thing, a mixed model line? Well, there are some benefits. First of all, it might reduce your inventory that you have to hold. Instead of doing a batch of B1s and then a batch of B2s and then a batch of B3s, uh, you can do them all at once on, on a single line and that should reduce your inventory. It should also reduce the possibility of a stock out, lower probability of a stock out, and it should better respond to variations in demand. You can change this sequence throughout the month, depending on the demand for these items. Uh, another benefit is it may be more interesting for your workers on the line. If you do have humans that are producing these, there's a little variation in, in, in their jobs, probably, in the production of these goods. And also for a pull system, uh, in a, uh, as opposed to a push, in a pull system, this would work fine. 